first of all uh, i welcome you formally for this online lecture this is the lecture plan we are going to start with fourth chapter atomic models and i have already explained you the rationale behind that so the lecture plan is this you can see the topics which we want to cover so let's begin with atomic models um, this is period roughly of say some uh, 120 years back when we didn't know that atoms exist but there was evidences which suggest that atoms atoms are there mostly uh, from chemical reactions uh, it was evident that all the materials or all the elements uh, all the chemical elements which uh, were part of chemical reactions they are formed by some basic unit and for each of these basic units of elements Uh, their properties are different so it was quite evident at that time through experimentation but it but it wasn't clear that what atoms are how they are made up of what are the constituents of atom but one thing was there that electrons were discovered uh, discovered can someone tell me who discovered the electrons yes it was thomson all of you are correct proton and neutron the other two major components of atoms weren't discovered at that time electrons were discovered but protons and neutrons uh, weren't discovered they were still to be discovered at that time i'm talking about some 120 or 140 years back and then based on whatever knowledge whatever exper experimentation was there a theory is needed if atom exists then someone has to put forward that what can be the structure of the atoms thomson uh, who discovered the electron was the first one to propose the atom and this model at thomson's atomic atom, atomic model was quite simple it is just like this it is sometimes called as plum pudding model so thomson proposed this very simple model that there are electrons which are embedded in the atom already mass of the electrons was known mass of electron is roughly 9.1 into 10 to the power th minus 31 kg okay so this mass of the electron was already uh, predicted to a good accuracy by thomson and uh, it was also known that these electrons carry negative charge at the same time the, it was also evident that these atoms should be much heavier as compared to electrons mass of atoms is much 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 more as compared to electrons and since you already know how to find atomic masses you can find out the ratio simply by considering mass of any atom let's consider the simplest atom uh, which is the simplest atom it's hydrogen because there is only one proton and there is only one electron so hydrogen is the uh, most simplest atom so you can find out what is mass of hydrogen find out this ratio of mass of hydrogen to mass of electron and you will see that the ratio is quite high it is of the power of 10 to the power 4 3 or 4 or even higher for heavier elements and and one more thing was there that these electrons carry negative charges but atom as a whole is always neutral there is no net positive or negative charge on atom and therefore thomson it was natural for him to consider that atoms are consist of these positive matter which is much heavier as compared to the electrons and in that matter these electrons are embedded so this is the simplest model that uh, that uh, thomson proposed what is what else uh, it was considered that the shape of this atom is spherical so it was considered that the atom is spherical why is sphere so special because here when we can we are discussing atomic models when we are considering this simple thomson's atomic model we are saying that atoms or thomson assumed that atoms must be spherical and there are electrons which are embedded in the positive matter so that is the simple atomic model see uh, what is so special about sphere is for the same volume they tend to have the least area to volume ratio sphere tend to have the smallest area to volume ratio and therefore then all these reasons comes that uh, they have least surface energy surface tension energy and therefore things tend to be uh, spherical in shape is this clear so electrons are present and they are uh, randomly 
uh, or rather uniformly spread throughout that spherical atom is another thing that he assumed so what can be the rational behind this uh, uniformly distributed electron just just a second let me again rephrase my question my question is this i'm saying that in this spherical atom electrons are uniformly distributed throughout the throughout the atom why why did he assume these electrons are uniformly distributed because one possibility is that all these electrons are present here in the lump and rest is the positive matter that he assumed is there so this is this kind of atom if i assume where this is the atom all this part is the positive matter and this this all these eight electrons now are clubbed here at one point which we can see with a red shed so if we consider this kind of atom what is the problem with this theory now have you heard of a concept called as electric dipole has any have you heard of that i'll use this space to explain electro electric dipoles so uh, elect uh, dipoles are basically the charges which are positive equal positive and negative charges which are separated by distance by some distance and these electro uh, dipoles now they can cause electric field dipole as a whole has net charge zero so dipoles are they may be uh, electronically neutral there are equal and opposite uh, positive and negative charges in the dipole and therefore that uh, they can be neutral but if we assume the similar thing for this kind of atom what will happen is electric dipole will form where all these are positive where this is the positively charged matter and there this is the negative these are the negative electron club together in this small area and a dipole will be formed which will give rise to a net electric field to every atom okay and that that is the perhaps one of the that is that can be one of the reasons that thomson assumed that electrons in in atoms electrons are uniformly distributed is it fine is are these assumptions of atomic uh, thomson's atomic model clear so what what are they first one electrons are present in the atom and they are distributed uniformly throughout the positive matter now whatever is the net charge of the electron which consists the atom it's same as the positive charge of the uh, of rest of the matter in which these electrons are embedded and therefore atom as a whole is neutral so this was simple model now we are saying that there is there is a theme for uh, our subject for this course we have a theme and what is that theme we have to see how science is developed or science how it is developed how theory and experiments go hand in hand for development of science so what we had for uh, pro, for atomic physics so far is that there were evidences mostly from chemistry that atoms should exist there should be something which formed the building block of every element and to uh, this evidence uh, thomson gave a theory he proposed a atom where electrons are uniformly distributed in the atom the shape of the atom is spherical and we briefly gave a rational to why atoms should be spherical and whatever net charge of that positive matter is is same as net charge of the electrons therefore positive and equal negative charges in the atom makes the atom as a whole neutral right so these are these are the two steps taken for development of atomic physics that there were there are uh, these uh, experiment there were these experimental evidences so this is the evidence or this is what is observed in the nature and to for that observation thomson proposed this theory right now what should be next step in this progression what we are saying is experiments and theoretical development of science they go hand in hand so what we have here is experimental observations what we have here is a theory now next step should be it should be the experimental verification now someone has to verify that whether the model which is proposed by thomson is correct or not right they have to experimentally check that whether such kind of atoms are possible or not so some a physicist or experimental uh, physicist or scientist has to devise 
an experiment in which they can test that whether the the atoms can be as they are proposed by thomson 